<laughs> All right, and we're live here once again. This is Nasty Neal. Ah, and yeah. up. At the, I should know, the garage in, in Harvard Square. Right now, that's where we're casting yes. from, and we're at Buff, the Boston Buff. Underground Film Festival. It's a great time. It's the last day. Well, I know. It's, Sunday. It's, it's both cool, and it's always sad, the last day of the festival. So Neil got here a little earlier than me, which is mm -hmm. awesome because he got to see a block of shorts earlier today. I'm glad you were able to make it. He's a that. really strong block of shorts. They were, I, 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 a few of us watching. Like, oh, I wish I had a was here. Ah. And I mean that too. It's like, I always had a feeling yeah. when I watch something cool, and like, oh, I, you know, you want you want other people to watch it. It's kind of why we do yeah. the show. I think in general, but. but it's especially someone you, you like your friends with, and you, and yeah. you know what they like. Oh, yeah. cool. oh. Well, you'll tell me all about it because he's going to do a run through of like, here's, we used to do this and I don't know why we stopped running, like finding the actual professional description of whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So Neil's going to run through them and give us some yeah, information. Yeah. I'll, I'll be learning. I'm just guys. going to assume this is Seth in the chat because he said heat. <laughs> I said. Survival, survival is insufficient was the name of the, uh, of the block. <clears throat> do we even know who we are? or how to get out where we are right now. Maybe we'll never find out on our own. These eight short films vary significantly in subject and tone, yet are all connected by protagonists who desperately need to be seen, heard, and understood by another person, whether they realize it. Oh, Jason. Jason, how's it going? Nice to see you. Yes. Wish you guys could be here. A little, what do you call People quartets. Quartet, yes. Without We're going to start a barbershop quartet. We're going to be with Troy. A quintuplet. That's a baby's. Well, it's a quintet, isn't it? Baby's a, um, a quint quintet. I like quadrupod. I'm not sure. I don't I even know what that four. means, but I like quadrupod. I know, but four, I just but... thought of it. So it would yeah. be a quintal pod. It doesn't pod. sound good. Something about that sounds so dirty or something. <laughs> like a body part. Yeah, it could fit in one of these shorts. It sounds like a dark place to be for these shorts. Yes. Like a good dark place. Like the place you want to be. Right. Yeah. So it opened up with the Lo-Fi Man by my buddy, and it should be everyone's buddy, uh, Brian Lanano, and Blake Myers. Who I'm, I'm not, I do not know Blake, but uh, shout out to him as well. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more content-driven content about content. This was great, very meta for people who make uh, make short films. And it's kind of about the idea of it used to be like you're independent filmmaking, you're making art. Yes. Now it's just about like making as much content as possible uh, because it doesn't really, you know, it, all these streaming sites need content. Mm -hmm. And so, it's, it out. yeah, it's a little the bleak in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, really well made. Uh, if you guys don't know uh, Brian Monano, he's been on Without Your Head, uh, I don't know, three times maybe. I don't think any time since we've been doing video, though. No, no I just not sure. I think he was one sometime. Yeah. Uh, and I recommend his stuff. William, I've shown at, uh, at Severed Limbs, one of the early ones. This is fine. Yeah. The crazy stuff. Uh, I real, like crazy stuff. Yeah, really weird, funny. So we were talking earlier silly, about film But film usually it has a lot of meaning underneath it. But sometimes that's no true. meaning. Well, that's okay. Yeah. But earlier we bumped into uh, Jim McDonough, who asked us if we like the puppets. Which Actually, the different things, but a similar okay. vibe of crazy yeah. and, and funny. If you don't know gross. Jim McDonald, find Brian Lenato is a little crazy. <laughs> is it? It's a little like less yes. family friendly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this one, not so much, but uh, a lot best. of his other ones. Yeah, William. He's like a Meet the People, as opposed to the Muppets. Exactly. Oh, you uh, actually know someone named William. Do I? It's um, he's a really cool older guy. He played the he played the killer in um, many um, books. Oh, yes. William. Too many. Oh, William uh, starts with a T. Yeah, he's a really cool he's guy. A great yeah. character actor. You gotta yeah. put his name up. It's gotta yes. like, yes. represent yes. William T. William's yeah. black. Uh, Crowhand is, uh, is cool. strange. Uh, oh, you, you told might, me yeah, about Crowhand. Crow I don't think I saw it. You told me about it. It sounded awesome. <clears throat> BFF Girls. That one did really well. It's played a lot of places. And, uh, some of my buddies are Michael, St. Michael's, and. Uh, and both it's both voices, him and um, Lawrence R. Harvey. Yeah. Missed so, that Lawrence guy. I haven't seen him in ages. So this one, Michael too, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him in ages either. So yeah, this was awesome. Um, uh, What's so the name of this one? A lot of uh, his uh, his um, people that you see and all this stuff were in here as cast. Which one is this? Uh, the Lo-Fi Man oh. by uh, Brian Lennon. And they like signs, be content making content. But anyway, highly recommend, especially for uh, filmmakers out there. Who get it? Yeah. Or be insulted by it. Right. Yeah. Probably knock on some people who just try to who just try to spurt out as much content as possible. Well, like it said, um, like, like me. read into this in the shorts is that you need to like be introspective and maybe you're not even ready for it. Exactly. So low five man is like take a look yeah. at the mirror. Bro, so hopefully we, we run into Brian again. I'd like to introduce you. He's a really cool guy. My first time meeting him. I've talked to him a lot, but for some We have a hi, Neil. How are you? Hello. Hi, Annabelle. Yeah, you got to say hello to both of us. Be, uh, be kind, rewind. Yeah. This is my buddy and partner in crime here. I'm just the extra. No, I don't be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'll smack you around a little bit. I'll get, I'll get banned off the internet. Maybe be canceled. Canceled uh -oh. It takes a village. Rosemary's baby of Rosemary surrounded by a super supportive lady cult. Interesting. Squad goals. That sounds very I remember all these being great. I'm going to have a hard time remembering exactly which one that was, oh, but that was by Glam Hag. I remember that name, actually. Yeah. Uh, this one was actually very good. These are honestly, this was a, a very powerful Superior. short. It was great, honestly. Uh, pool party. I remember pool party. Freya isn't like other girls. She's only going to swim when she wants to go swimming. So it's like this group of uh, teenage friends, and one they're kind of being a little bully to the one girl. They're playing yeah. truth or dare, and then she goes out swimming, and uh, it's kind of a spoiler, but uh, bad things. And see, but it's very cool. It's a weird take on. So uh, I hate, yeah, I don't want. I really don't want to spoil it because yeah. there is a big payoff yeah. into it. So it's a uh, you know really short, eight minutes. Check it out. Oh, rhyme or die. This was awesome. So it's like a. Well, I'll read what it says first. There can only be one winner in the ultimate freestyle rap battle. Oh, we saw a freestyle rap battle. We did. Yeah. Central Square. It's amazing. And I was preparing an entry. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so this one was a group of people that are almost. They got like, they're all like uh, collared up. They have like this collar around them, like a, yeah. like a almost like a saw kind of thing. Oh, like and, a, it's like a party collar. Like so, you don't want to wear this. Exactly. Collar. So, so it's like five people and they start rapping. And as soon as it, they do a couple lines and then it goes to the next person, and you have to start with the rhyme from the last sentence. And if you don't do it, you get decapitated back. <laughs> and so it comes down to two of them. <laughs> And and so they're kind of like being friends, and the and the um. What the hell is that crap? Sorry know. guys, something just popped down. That's why Neil like went to the screen. Some <laughs> rude sounding person sending a message to Neil. Yeah, please stop saying something. Something about a reunion? Yeah, I don't know. No, I honestly, have no idea. So um, I really. Yeah. So the uh. Oh, so, so it comes down to a woman and a guy, and they're kind of, they're, they're feeling bad because they don't want to, they don't want to die. Mm -hmm. So they start, like, we should work together, and they start doing back and forth. And then she ends with, um, I forget what the word is, but it's a hard one to rhyme with. And he was like, that word is a constrictor, so he rhymed with it. Oh, and so they like start to go, to and then boom, one of them puts something that very, almost impossible. Wow. And it's like, yeah, we, you know, we got to be uh, partners, not opponents, yes. and then they're like, whoa, and then boom. And but then the other person wins. And it was very cool, very well done. It was a lot of the lines. I thought they're awesome. yeah, the rhymes are really good. Yeah. It's good. You have to do that work. Yeah. Who did that? That was by Max Lincoln from the UK. Full Party is a Canadian film by Ellie Stewart. Um, Scooter? Scooter by Chessie Lupkin. Lupkin. That is back to the uh, tell, tell your loser shithead boyfriend to go fuck himself. Wow. Get a big fat burger and go home and get home safely. Oh, and help out anyone who might need it along the way. I have to see a visual for this one because I did see all these, but I, I remember liking all of them. From beyond. <laughs> From I'm beyond. sorry. Yeah, and I can't take notes because then I can't read it while we're doing these things. 
Frederick S. Han uh, Hanna from Norway, mesmerizing genre, genre, what's that thing? Dreaming, experimental Dreaming. meditation on what ensued when humans met aliens through a blessed union of found footage and practical effects. That was, that was by Frederick S. Hanna from Norway. I remember that one. That was cool. Incubus was one of my favorites uh, by Tito Fernandez in the UK. A hot and deeply powerful story of a woman who flees her abuser only to become locked in solitary battle with debilitating fear. This one um, was was uh, kind of a downer. It was about a really serious subject. And so it was like this woman who had the, it was like this weird, I mean, it was a really well-made alien thing that come in with some rape in her Wow, it was, pretty, it was pretty intense, and um, and it, the um, really downer ending, honestly. And the crowd, I think they didn't know how to respond. I, I was because it was, it was because a weird it's thing upsetting, to talk to. But it's yeah. a good film. Yeah, it's, it's well really, made. really well made. Yeah, it, that was one of the best ones I saw. Um, and uh, the last one was "They Call It Red Cemetery" by Francisco Lacerda from Portugal. Two outlaws cross, cross paths amongst the crosses in the sweltering Azores. Who will make it out alive? So this was like an old uh, Western. So it's two guys. Um, and uh, so it was like the, the one guy's kind of like the Clint Eastwood dude. And the other guy's kind of like the henchman guy. And, he, and, the, and the, the cool guy makes him you know, dig up the treasure that they buried, the, the stuff that they stole. And then it's kind of like they, they, he wants half, and he's like, you, you know, you get your 10,000 gold coins, but you have to swallow each one. So he makes them swallow all the, all the money. Oh and uh, it is awesome. It's, it's, it gets very gory. I won't give it away. Uh, it's just two dudes, but there's a lot of gore involved and, mm -hmm. and double and triple crossings. And uh, mm -hmm. just an old, like a, like a cool, uh, you know, they call them spaghetti westerns, Italian mm -hmm. western film. Uh, lots of good. Very cool. Interesting. You want to know more about this eating? Yeah, I love it. where that ends up. I guess yeah. it's probably pretty bad. Yeah, so, so you were really happy with your shorts. Yeah, this was an excellent block of shorts. And I'm sorry for the ones that I, I didn't go into detail. I, if I had a visual to aid, I would. Uh, I, I guess. Can be challenging. Uh, what are both your favorite Creepster episodes, part one and part two? Uh, is that from, from Creepshow? Oh, uh, if it is about Creepshow, I haven't seen, I don't know. The original Creepshow is the best. If, you if you're talking about, yeah, if you're talking about, oh, okay, I didn't know if they meant the series. Yeah, that's So sure. of the two movies, if that's it, definitely. And the segment I like best it's hard because honestly, oh, part one is so good. They're, uh, they're very, uh, they're all very quotable. Father's Day, Father's Day is probably my, I know uh, the crate's probably my favorite, but um, yeah. crate, crate's definitely it's my Father's favorite. Day. But Father's crate, Day. crate and Father's Day, are kind of tight. There's the lonely the, death of, of Jordy. Jordy Barrow. There's um, something to tide you over. I think that one gets overlooked a lot. Yeah, the one with. Um, Leslie I can Hansen. hold my breath for a long yeah. time. The bug one. The bug one, something. Yeah, that one used to get cut out on like yeah, TV. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see it for a long time. I used to think there was something like it was too, um, it was too graphic. Something. From what I understand, they had to, they had to cut one out for time to oh, keep it under two hours with with that. Hmm. I would say probably, uh, probably would be Father's Day. That zombie is amazing. Oh, yeah. And funny. Yeah. It does some funny things. It's great. It's yeah. Yeah. And if it, it's Father's Day, it's got to be what you're talking to him. But he, yeah. He's an asshole. Yeah, I know. He, it's kind of sad that he wins. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's such true. a terrible but man. But all, all the other people are back bad, and too. So. What about uh, Dancing well, Man? Well, he's just kind of. He's just kind of a, well, I mean, he, it, he's kind of a flip-flop of, of, of that kind of uh, character trope where it normally would be like the woman marries into money, but he's kind of, he's kind of, he's really like, he's just a dude marrying into money. 
Yeah, he might actually like her. She's very pretty. I mean, it's possible, but it's kind of portrayed. He just kind of did it. But you don't know. You don't know. He, if uh, of all of them, though, he would be the innocent oh, in, yeah. in, uh, in the yeah. uh, in the book, the chef. The house person. Well, she house might have known about it all too, so I don't know. That's true. She but you might, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you had to pick one from the second one. From the second one. I would give you two cents. So that's a great one. So fun. Stephen King's perfect. The second one, I would do the big one with the tar. I, uh, that one's good. That's scary. That one's good. I, I, I do like it. Yeah. Coming up. It is creeps. The, uh, but I do like Thanks. Thanks for the ride, lady. Watch it again, because I don't know if you like it this one. I like it's it. It's very I, long. I think the longest one actually is the, is the opening one with the uh, with the Indian chief. That one is a nice guy. Oh yeah, it's it's a cool concept, but it's all build, and then the payoff so minuscule. If yeah. that would have been paced better, because like you really know exactly what's gonna happen, and then um, all the kills are like super short, but you have like a, a giant long. Uh, yeah. But um, I do like a couple of them. Yeah. So I like that movie, but uh, it's it's um, not even close to the original creep show. Series creep show? I, I honestly, yeah, I myself, don't know enough either. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what channel. I think it was on a channel I don't know. Yeah. And so, any yeah. other? Uh, we will get more. Uh, let's see what time. It yeah, is. and also let us know your name because we can't see the names. Yeah, we, we don't minutes. have a lot of time yeah, left. So we're gonna so go we'll to get the into the other shorts for now. Yeah. So we just, uh, before we got through and sat down with you find people, we went to the shorts block, the animated shorts block, I guess called Destination. Yeah, I didn't know Maybe I would have gone in with a different mindset if I was aware of that. I didn't think it was. This is my fault. Another Troy Jones, amazing design. Yeah, this one is the most popular. Dude, of them. Like yeah. disintegrating in there. <laughs> See? He is. There's a little dude disintegrating with all this cool stuff. This is the most popular of these. This is also owned by uh, filmmaker Michael Epstein and, uh, and the, the shirt. Oh, this is the, this is the most popular like of the shirt. No, no, no. I said this is the most sold of the uh, of the so shirt. Yeah. All right. So this block. The Mark Twain. Yeah. Are you questioning the meaning of life? Wondering where to go? What to do next? Yeah, these past few years have caused caused us all. How is this all to confront some existential dread? Where we are, where we are feels wrong, but conceiving of somewhere else seems impossible. These 12 films will not provide answers, but they may offer some new questions to ponder. In this mesmerizing block of animated shorts, we question the choices that have been made by and for us. Our frustration with the status quo is confronted. Do we acquiesce or resist? Perhaps we simply watch it unfold. Wanderers look for meaning in cigarettes. Creators make and destroy their creations. Outcasts struggle for their individuality. Dreamers dream of bread. We fight our environment and the environment fights back. Maybe the real destination is a surrealism we meet on the way from Rebecca Murphy. I wish I read that before. <laughs> so, um, I felt like it was great efforts by everybody involved. Of course, animating is its own, you know, as a person who draws and not even close to the amount of work that goes into this. This is like, a, I think a special yeah. kind of effort. Um, it takes so long to do this, no matter what. It's like things that are drawn, things that are um, stop motion. Yeah, stop motion. Cool. So, I'm a big fan of stop motion. Yeah. A lot. In the uh, oh no, it was a different one I saw last night. Circumstantially, I saw something else, and there was animated felt. You know when people do the felting. Oh things? right, right, yeah. Oh, wow, so cool! I'm yeah, gonna have to find that, the. That's a really cool. Great. You can you you know it's got like the, the texture to it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's three cool. yeah. Oh, it was wicked cool. It's a three part uh, movie. Oh, all right. So, not not today. Fly paper spectacular from Luke Liberty, a free spirit with time to burn. I liked it. I like this one a lot. The animation style was really wild. Like you could tell if any of you old people like us and saw the Lord of the Rings cartoon. Oh, interesting, yeah. Where like there's 
part, like there's a madness part with the ring rates, uh -huh. and you can tell that they drew over yeah, actual there's, people there's, moving there's around. There's a term for that. I forget the name of it. Yeah. So they've got this person, and they're just like black and kind of struggling with just yellow eyes mm -hmm. that change shape sometimes, and they're always trying to find. Yeah, I love I love that look. It was very yeah. creepy. I, I wish I remember the name of that. That uh, there's a Ken Reeves movie that did the same thing. Yeah. But it's really oddly cool. enough that's Alex Jones. Is. Weird. And the this character being this wanders through this crazy house. I wonder if it's pretty specific. Um, yeah, this was. Uh, I don't want to say which one of my favorites. But this was one of my favorites. <laughs> Uh, Colleen. Hello, Colleen. Oh, hey, Colleen. Saying, saying her name, and she's on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, I love that style of animation. Yeah, it was it was very, very cool. All I put for my note was super cool, squiggly shadow guy. Exactly. So, well, I guess I thought that was a knock. No. Um, these are not in order. Some of them I don't know. So that was fantastic. Uh, I don't know if this is pronounced hospice. It's H O S P. -E -S. I think so because when they had the the they had some of the filmmakers up uh, to begin with, and one of them said oh. they they made hospice. I thought it was you know uh, hospice. For I see. Yeah. Hospice. Stephanie J Williams, an amalgam of body pieces, resists an environment program to disassemble. It was very weird. Yeah. It's kind of like tomb looking. Right. right Maybe right. that's an easy thing to say, but it it was very like. Oh, it was like a random world. It was green, that like plastic grass that you put next to a pool or something like right. that. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? And there's a circle of a door, just a door, and they sometimes open and sometimes don't. And there's like a few of these different things that are, it's like like this, but it's like just weird fleshiness. It almost and reminds me of a like chicken wing. Ish. Yeah. And some of them have like hat on. Yeah, and they're, they're moving around. It's very cool. Yeah. And it kind of seemed like I thought, is this just stuff just moving around? But then I thought, no, I feel like there is a success to it. Because even though, there, you know, there's no, there was no dialogue in the last one, there's not a dialogue. There wasn't the dialogue for uh, almost all these. Yeah. Movies. Yeah. The presenter said it was going to be like yeah. 40 minutes. I think it was even a little bit talking. longer. Maybe. Yeah. Well, someone said like a word. Oh. That was her time. <laughs> but I felt like eventually I got to a place in this one where I felt like these little things, like I've got a sense of emotion from them. And I thought, all right, that is an achievement where you've got really yeah, things that don't have faces. Thing, right? Yeah, just it's like just this piece. One of them's a little bit bigger. So I thought that's that was good to be able to see that. So I have to I have to give her that for sure. Yeah, no, I thought that was really cool. It took me a second. Once I remembered the uh, the things moving out, because I kept thinking of the chicken wings. That, I know that's a pretty good assessment of the short, but it was very, it was, not, I, it it was, was very cool looking to you. Somebody take the wheel from Kenzie oh. Sutton, the absurd cycle of mundane everyday life. Uh, th this one was awesome. The uh, the animation was very fun. Yeah. This was uh, this was kind of a stop motion movie. Yes. Uh, Eric, and yeah, I, I, my name's a good word. Like the kids constantly growing, uh, mowing the grass, and then it would pop up right behind them. Yeah. Uh, everyone, would, yeah, would just going through the motions of life. And uh, like, this one totally works for me. And yeah. I thought it was a perfect length where you, you yeah. got to see everybody. And then, um, you know, it didn't need to be longer than it was, but it, the animation was great, and I just thought it was a, it yeah. was a fun uh, watch. There's several different people in different environments. So, like, there's a kid in, I think a kid in bed. There was like, I think it was a kid in bed. Guy running, someone trying to drive, someone with a peeing dog, a woman trying to make clothes, a yeah. woman in the yard, and it, it just shows the utility of doing those things because we just keep doing, uh -huh. doing, like the boy yeah. is just trying to make his bed. You make a bed. Yeah, and you mess it up. Exactly. That's why I don't make mine. Yeah. Oh, it's all this like this guy running. I hate mowing the lawn too. I'm with this well, this guy seemed to like it. And you just gotta do it. I don't know. Clothes get dirty, clean them. So I don't wash. And all of those different things are things that most people do. And how much time out of your day? Yeah, does it yeah, take it's just right, right. All of that stuff. Yeah. Over and over and over. 
about it every day. I was like, this is grim. <laughs> What's an, all that's a good question, Colleen. What kind of materials did they use in the stop motion? This one, I'm not sure. Because I don't think it was clay because you didn't, of, see, you didn't yeah. see the... Um, the one before that, whatever they use in tool videos. So I think that was mixed media. Um, and then in this one, was it? What? We well, didn't. I felt you, like it was some, hard to tell. Well, yeah, I was just saying you didn't. See, sometimes it was the you could see the thumb prints and stuff. Yeah. But like for the lips and stuff, they definitely would have been slightly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not positive. Uh, it must look like toys, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, they were all handmade. I don't want to definitely. think people like that. It wasn't like um, you know they used action figures. And the next one, Perfect City, the mother. I, I'll sorry if I mispronounce this. Shengwei Zhao from China, a dry wood mother decides to carve her root baby into a human. I thought this was very cool. Yeah, that's why. It was gross. It's like starts. Yeah, so we there's watched, a few things uh, with some white gooey stuff. I, yeah, I was thinking the about yeah. yeah. The other day we saw something with this giant like knot, and it was like you poke it. You're supposed to poke it for whatever reason, and poo comes out. And this one, there's bust in the nut. Oh, and boobs were like, <laughs> yeah, there was multiple. Oh my god, it's coming out all over the place. I thought it was to start, it was very, it was gross. I even was like, <laughs> it was so I was gross. like, man, this is hot. Not hot, but it was this really cool looking. Um, I'm sure another mixed media with a lot of wood stuff and different kinds of packaging. Yeah, then, yeah, and then some of it was definitely like computerized. Which, yeah, not, not a knock yeah. or anything. I think it that works. was some of the. I there's that, some like psychedelic yeah. color things going on. That yeah, it just needed to be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's this mom, and I, I was. This was something that, as I'm watching, I thought, you know, everything theoretically has a deeper meaning but this was yeah, like, that's, very yeah, clearly right, that's this is symbolic and things are happening and um so it's this wood being and she has like she explodes and there's like this root bundle baby that's like yeah they're, all, they're just interacting it's kind of like a monster kind of like a monster to her yeah, and they have yeah. a very weird interaction uh -huh. and then Finally, it was more she's like trying stuff. to yeah. feed it. All, all the, all the, uh, all the tree stuff, like it really looked. All the vine stuff really looked like, like real, like it was organic. It was like. Yes, definitely. It does sound awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very. It was really cool. Yeah, this, this one of the best ones. And then it gets even more. Like there's more of a story than just like she has this crazy baby. She, um, she has this. There's like imagery in it of this ideal. Mother, because yeah, I thought that was interesting to contrast because all the other stuff is it's gravy, very stuff, organic, and then it's and very pristine. And, yeah, uh, she just has clean. this image of a of this like stereotypical pretty woman with blonde yeah. hair. She's very curvy, and this is also like also this, very plastic so looking, which yeah, is also which which goes into the I you know almost like a fake one. Yes. Yes, but she's looking to this as like, this is what it should be. Mm -hmm. So she, I don't want to ruin this one either, but yeah. she messes with the baby, trying to make the baby more in this. And there's lots of weird breastfeeding in the hotel. <laughs> it's so gross. It's really weird. I thought, I was like trying to think, of what is this all about? And I felt like this is like child abuse. It felt like like there's a bottle like not the baby right, bottle right. there's like an almost like an alcohol bottle uh -huh. what is going on here this Trust mom me. is like why is she trying to be a mom it's not for her baby it's so she can look a certain way well that's that's actually I didn't even think of that but that that goes in with the whole ending too mm -hmm. yeah. and she's always trying to shape her baby into something that it's supposed to be right it's more of and even when the baby suffers in the show, yeah. Because the baby does something. Yeah. Yeah. This was excellent. Yeah. And uh, Colleen says it sounds awesome. Yes. It is really good. <clears throat> this one was wild, but I wasn't all that into it today. I will be the bread. By yeah. Cahill. It the started room, out. It started out fun to me. I thought. Yeah. The room becomes the bread. The bread becomes the board. And the orange takes on a life of its own. Yeah. That's the that's the little description of it. Um, I like the name of it, honestly. 
I my one note is super weird orange balls. Pop. Oh, there was a uh, eventually there was like a dog pooping out orange balls, and the person walking the dog was like the game. It was just weird. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. What no. was this done with? It was like 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 tradition, like animation, yeah. kind of like, like a, it felt kind of a sixties kind of it did, like the colors and the faces yeah. and everything and where they would kind of merge into one into another thing. Into the bed. Yeah, there was a few of that too. A few. Uh, yeah, there's a few penises. Yeah, a few nut nubby penises. Yeah, I guess it's a counterbalance. Oh, maybe this person doesn't want to hear what I'm talking about. Before there was really no. But that's okay. So, um, Colleen says she hates it when she poops out on the phone. It's not a good time. Better out than bad, especially when they're coming out of something's butt. <laughs> 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 that woman is crossed right as I was talking about eating orange balls. For some <laughs> So yeah, you got to counterbalance the weird wooden lactate yeah. breasts. Well, I, that that is penis, the, well, it is, doing nothing. It is actually a good uh, point though, because the other one like definitely had a meaning and stuff. Not that this one didn't, but it was more. Uh, it was. It seemed a lot more if, silly. Yeah, than, you know, if there is a meaning, I didn't understand. Right, right. And that could be because I'm done. Yeah, I know when it's setting up the uh, the severed limbs, I try to um, not have too much of the same. Vibe, but then sometimes I like to. It, 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 it depends. Sometimes I think, I, yeah, I think sometimes one, if you have a couple in a row that have a similar thing, it's good. And then and then you contrast with something else. You can't just nonstop contrast, but I don't know. I do have a thought process where I'm putting together. So, and I, and I, 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 I think that adds to the short block when you watch them if they kind of have a good flow to them. Oh, yes. But I, I don't like it when, because then I end up, I invariably will compare. Things that are very like the ones that we saw the other day. Right. Where it's well, that's like, more of the like the actual things. With, is, yeah. yeah, I meant more of like uh, the vibe of one. So, like sometimes yeah. I don't like to have like a bunch of comedy shorts in a row. Yes, but then there are times where I think these two really play together, so I will do that. But and, but if there's like a kind of a slower, long one that's very like boring or something, and then then sometimes you want like the comic release, and then you put us real silly more right after that. So anyway, I like I like uh, I like something that flows together. I'm thinking maybe um, for future. So Neil does these without your head film festivals. Uh, severed limbs. Severed limbs every like once a quarter. Sometimes yeah. yeah. Usually once, once a, quarter. a quarter. Last year I think I only get three. So I'm thinking maybe you should make a program. Yeah, that's a good idea. The very first one I actually like did. But yeah. Yeah. Because I know some like it's hard to get like the the very first one I actually did. But yeah. Yeah. Because I know some like. It's hard to know. I want to put more stuff into these. Um, they're a lot of work, but um, honestly, the last, uh, not here, but the last um, few festivals I've been to, people have recognized me from Severed Limbs, which was very interesting to me. And um, a couple people were saying, you know, how it was cool that they're short plays. So, yeah, Severed Limbs. Yeah. And, the, and the woman who runs, um, Vanessa was, was talking to me a lot oh, about yeah. it. Who runs oh, uh, Renegade? Cool. Yeah, and she's saying how it's nice that there's a lot of stuff in Severed Limbs that not that it's not even that they wouldn't play some real sense by people who probably wouldn't even think to um, oh, to, to, enter. to enter somewhere yeah. else. And so that that is a good feeling that someone who can be creative on any level. And that's something to know if you're a filmmaker or want to be a filmmaker, have desires to be a filmmaker. One of the things with uh, trying to get into festivals is. You, a lot of times have to give money to mm -hmm. even enter and without your head that right, right. you might not get chosen because right. that's just how it is you can only right. play so many right. but you don't have to pay so like sometimes you might pay and not get chosen right, either. Right. <laughs> i'd like to do another um i did the uh, one um feature length one which i think it was really there was some great stuff but cool. i have to rework it i think and do it two days maybe yeah Three at the most, but definitely yeah. not four. And that one I have to be more picky when I choose. Definitely. Yes. That's how I saw a Psycho Wave and American. Yeah. Who's uh, Terrible with the name. Ninja, uh, Ninja Badass. Ninja Badass. Yeah. It, was, it was a really good time, honestly. Yeah, Ninja Badass is amazing, and, and Ryan is, is awesome. I would like Ryan to. Ryan is awesome. I love 
like to make something with Ryan some yes. All three of us. Harrison, Harrison, right? Yeah. Harrison. Yeah, there's his two his wife, his wife his mom, I'm sorry, his mom is awesome. Yes. His and, sister uh, too. They were all oh, like there. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were all there for the when you were playing it. It was really cool. Everybody was in the chat. It's very nice. Oh yeah, yeah, in the chat. Yeah, in the chat. But I was, I, was I, I met his mom in, uh, in Texas, South Texas oh, Underground Film nice. Festival, and she's great. So there are still. She bought several, me a Whataburger. There are several more shorts to go through. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, it's cool. Exclamation point! I'm not. It's like the actual mm. exclamation point from Elaine Coos. It has to get done. Oh my god, that's. Yeah, see that. that <laughs> I'm sure it was really good, but um, uh, this is stuff moving thing. around on a desk. Okay, that was a pretty short one. Yes, it was well done. Yeah, it was stuff moving on the desk. If there was more, actually, that yeah, that's right. That was around the time I was like, I need to use that. <laughs> so I wasn't really focusing yeah. as much. Disappearing act. Sarah E. Jenkins. Darkness and creatures upon a loggy, laggy landscape of animated tricks and turns. And unfortunately, I was not there to yeah, watch that one. Um, sorry. I feel bad. The sprayer from Farnoosh Abidi. This was, this to me, this was, all, this was great. This was. Uh, In the land occupied with the sprayer's army, plants are forbidden. I love this. It's, it's been clearly um, Nazis. evoking Nazis, uh, Germany. And uh, so they're bringing people out and they're destroying their plants, throwing the plants out the window, spraying them. And then you have the one lone guy who's uh, one killing. Nazi. And that's what I, you know, dude. you need, the, you like need the, the one guy to stand up. Yeah. And he does it secretly, but he saves a plant and a little boy. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and this is it's like, really interesting. And the, the um, however they made this, I'm not really sure, but it, it looks awesome. Yeah. It's like, um, what was that one? That we saw in the theater, but it was a little too art for us. The guy, who worked, the yes, yeah. it, the Nazi dude. Yeah, I was wondering, like, this had to take a lot of work to put this yeah. together. Yes, it was. I really, think they built the whole city and yeah. got like the flying car, like out of um, Blade Runner. Yeah, th this yeah. one, this one was uh, right up there for me. Yeah. It was a there. lot, and it yeah. was nine minutes. And it was a lot. Yeah. Minutes. that one could have been a feature. But it would have taken like this. That by Diane. Yeah, I remember the name. I'll wait for this guy to walk by. I don't remember this vagina fingers character explores a universe gone mad. <laughs> I remember. I remember Spec, but I don't. Oh, know it's that. the one where. It's oh that. yeah, it, that it's more. Yeah, it's the in between the figures. Right. Right? When I you say vagina, the, yeah, exactly. like, there's like. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> and then and they're like spraying or like. like Farting, yeah. That one, it was. Uh, I was like, it seemed like another one that might be about pregnancy. Like there's a lot of running away from okay. sperm and baby stuff. Oh, was the one before about the uh, the screws? I think. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. That's one of those that spec. I think it was about the screws. Spec was yeah. The vagina fingers. The oh, spec. I'm sorry. The, uh, spec was vagina fingers was walking disappearing around. Acts. Disappearing act. Was the, the screws. The screws coming in and out. Of course, Diane Hugon, uh, struggle between inner chaos and reality explodes to create a world of cowboys and horses. I thought the horse was pretty cool. That was a claymated, claymated, yeah. whatever, a claymated yeah. horse and that kept moving around. It was very crazy. It would like smudge out. Some of the stuff I was like, hmm. but I did like the way the horse looked and it was all glittery and it was kind of madness. Yeah. Um, I like the horse being in a small place. And Drifter, I don't know if I'll pronounce this right either. This Ascension. Oh, sorry. Ascension, a winning lottery ticket promises a vacation from more life. Remember that? I think this one, right, but I remember the, the scratch ticket. Yes. He's in like a, this is kid. This is just straight, straight up animation. Mm -hmm. This kid is in a cold world. Everything is winter. They've got a news broadcast. In the background talking about the cool things. So it's a little bit funny. And he goes, he's got two little wings and he scratched the scratch ticket. And oh, yeah, this is almost like anime. Yes, that's yeah. right. And he scratched the scratch ticket, ends up getting high. And 
He's a better man for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry to be so Drifter, Juste Jensen, or Juste Jensen from Belgium. In the near future, an astronaut is confronted with the field. This one was uh, really uh, great animation. Yes. The for, you know, it was, it was traditional. Long, it was, yeah, it was a long short. This one probably took a lot to uh, make. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's narrated the whole time. It's this dude, and he's talking about how when we're kids. Now, this is, did not fit me. When we're kids, we all want to go to space and just be free. I do not want to go to fucking space. Yeah, honestly, that, I no desire to be in space ever. That, that seemed like something from an, honestly, from another generation, my like kids growing up under the astronauts. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it isn't, but it doesn't seem like anyone from my generation was really. I don't know. Maybe there were. It, it, it just didn't seem. It seems like something from like my uncle or mom's generation. Maybe. Because uh, they know. saw the moon landing and stuff. And... All my friends were weirdos. So probably none of us. Space. Well, that could be mine. Yeah. I do yeah, remember. We I do remember, I do remember astronaut uh, like ice cream. It was like the oh, that was cream. awesome. Freeze dried ice cream. They had strawberries, but those are just dehydrated strawberries. Right. Ice cream. <laughs> yeah. No. It's good. So, yeah, this guy, he um, is, talks about how he was a kid, he wanted to float in space, and then he actually becomes an astronaut and he has to go over to space to do missions. There's this like green liquid that they somehow had, or they harvested like the stuff came right. out of the ground or they made it yeah. like artificially, but they have it in their spacesuit so that like it's, they can, they swallow it and then it's just in their body so they can breathe. They get nutrition from it. I don't know what happens to the waste. Yeah. But it's also fuel for the rocket. It like does all these different things. So they go up into space and they're at their little space station. He's fixing something and it all blows up. And then he's just adri adrift and realizes he's just going to die out there. Yeah. Like he's got this liquid in there keeping him alive. And then it goes into. I'd be worse. Be better. I right? be... just like. Whoop. Instead of drifting, for yeah. who knows how long it's going to last. Mortality. Starve rather than just run out of oxygen. Right? So um, and then it gets like a little psychedelic, and he has this out of body interesting experience, and uh, it kind of comes full circle. Yeah. It was, I thought it was nice at the end. Mm -hmm. And I think, oh, uh, I think we've made it. Yeah, that was the end. That was the last Great. They, they yeah. seem to go by really fast. I, thought, I think so too. Um, I was going to say what we're going to into next. We are going to go see, time, yeah, an angry oh, black girl and great. her monster, which I'm very excited about ever since yes. I heard uh, the title. Yeah, it's like, well, I'll read the thing. So this is by Bomani J. Story. And we'll be on without your head racing. And it is brilliant teen scientist Vicaria or Vicaria theorizes that death is a curable disease and embarks on a dangerous journey to bring back her recently murdered yeah, brother. That sounds interesting yeah. immediately. Yeah. Even if I didn't know it was like a Frankenstein story, yeah. that sounds really cool. So I can imagine that's... What yeah, do you think? I, I feel like that's going to go somewhere scary and violent. Yeah, when I, I so I interviewed Chad um, L. Coleman from, from the movie Place the Dad of, of, uh, of the Scientist. And I hadn't, I've not seen the movie yet because I couldn't get a screener for the interview. So I wanted to do the interview. And he said it's, um, what interested him was there's a lot of uh, social commentary about inner city uh, death and drug use. And also he says it gets very, very good. And he's into both. It's kind of his two worlds. If people don't know, he's from The Wire, one of the best shows ever on TV, and uh, The Walking Dead. And he said it's kind of a combination of the two. You get a lot of gore. Mm -hmm. And you've got a lot of uh, social commentary on uh, in, in the city issues. So that's fascinating. And he also said the name itself as soon as he saw that name, because he said that is what yeah, a lot of people really think. Yeah, uh, they're very attentive. Right. Yeah, they think so. They think a lot of people and think all white or you know, there's an end all. Well, black guys are monsters. So. And the idea of an angry black guy, right, as opposed to like a peaceful. Right. Well, you said well, like if a, you're was that model minority. I don't remember if that was for this, but there's this idea of model. Oh, no, it was like some kind of YouTube TikTok thing. Model minority is what 
Asians are referred to as an Asian girl talking about it and how problematic that is where Asians coming into this country were kind of flying under the radar, you right. just kind of sit there. And so there's that, there's other ethnicities and then there's the stereotype of the angry black girl. Right. Just yeah. trying to be a person. Right. <laughs> So I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. He told me it's like, it's told, um, you know, there's been other Frankenstein stories even that are, you know, not necessarily straight up Frankenstein, but he said this is one that's uh, being told through the eyes of, uh, of the doctor. Yeah. As opposed to the eyes of the monster. So. Well, the doctor being the girl. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's very cool. Yeah. So uh, I know we've got a couple other things. Perfect mom combination of breed. Bad taste. Haven't seen it in a long time. I, yeah, same person that did me the Eagles. But I don't think we have time to get into that because we're only no. a few minutes away from having to be at the theater. Thanks so much, everybody who's here. Um, Keep your jacks. Very appreciative. We will be back sometime later. There's an after party. So depending on how that plays out, because we didn't end up being at the one last night. Right. Um, so we can go to this not one. last night, Friday. Yeah. So we maybe we'll even see do. All, you. Yeah, if this is, we'll we'll figure out. We'll, yes. uh, we will be back. We'll keep you something. posted yeah. and see you around. Hope yeah. to catch you in there. Thanks for checking these out because I hope yes. these these go well because it'll be something fun to do when we're out and about. Yeah, especially, at, uh, especially at events. All right. Yeah. So bye guys.